yeah. how big is this thing? And and how did you guys get your hands on it? Because I would have to assume there are other companies who really want to get at this as well. Oh yeah, yeah. We we originally we were in competition with uh, a few other and and, and uh, some of the big boys. I think I think in a way uh, that the mentor and us we 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 hit it together on, and we had the similar vision of how to get the project back on going. And to give you a little bit of the background story here is that the project is actually built uh, in about uh, 2016 to 18, up, running up to 2019, they start their ramp up. And they were uh, already in full production in uh, April 2020, when they had to uh, shut down because of COVID uh, right. and, and a COVID related uh, and pandemic related issues. The logistic lines from South, Af South Africa towards Namibia closed, so they couldn't get supplies. And they uh, had, had to uh, stop uh, production. And, uh, and so it subsequently ended up with the, uh, the, the uh, company that was running it at that time went into uh, liquidation. And uh, the vendor wow. that we're buying it up from now, Castle Lake, which is a $21 billion private equity fund in the US, they acquired it. But they're not, they're not guys to run a mine. We, we've we've done this before, uh, uh, like I said to you before an interview, uh, we built an uh, underground CIP planting uh, in, in Greenland. We made greenfield discoveries. So we've done, we've been working in a very harsh environment. So we know, know the logistical issues and et cetera. So we've got good team behind us. If you love that clip, give us a like, then hit the link to watch the full video. Don't forget to subscribe.